guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Nerd Things. My name is Steve, and I really appreciate you being here. And sorry about all the loud music. No, sorry about all blah, 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 blah. Sorry about all the loud noise in the background. They've been doing construction on my street all day, and it's been driving me crazy. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I don't know what exactly they're doing, but at least my water's not off. My man's over there got a speaker, for like a house speaker in the back of his car. That's kind of crazy. Doing his thing though. Anyway, we are headed over to my mom's house. Got to do some chores for her. Ew, my hair's looking crazy because it's wind. Anyway, we're headed over to my mom's house to do, do some chores for her. Uh, then I got to go pick up the girls from school. We got to still get lunch. I still haven't even messed with the Integra. I really want to get that on the ground so we can go out tonight. Whew. Busy day so far. Not a lot of recording, but you know. All right, let's go. All right, y'all. So all my neighbors are Christmas trapping. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Anyway, while they're Christmas trapping, I need to be cleaning up this garage because honestly, it's a mess. There's. I just got stuff everywhere. I got, uh, I just got stuff everywhere. This whole thing needs to be, this whole area needs to be cleaned up. Trash needs to be thrown out. I'm just honestly living like a heathen right now, <laughs> which, uh, you know, it is what it is. But uh, my son and I did pick up some bolts. So, I'm gonna be able to fix the exhaust manifold here. You guys can see the exhaust manifold has Bolts missing, like everywhere. So I'm just gonna put all new bolts and everything in. After that, I'm gonna get the car down, back it out, clean up the garage, take the car for a cruise. All right, let's get to it. I know you guys heard that. Um, nothing's missing. The only, the only thing I did that was related to driving the car was checking the spark plug. I checked uh, only one of them and then put it right back. I'm thinking maybe uh, the temperature has changed. It's gotten significantly cold. I'm thinking maybe the temperature's changed. It's gotten significantly colder and maybe that somehow messed up my tune or I don't know because it was she was running really really rich. But it was also, it sounded like it was misfiring a little bit, so. Ugh. Let's try this again. Okay. Key in to prime. She primed up. Locked. Let's focus on something there. There we go. Just 
rich, rich. No check engine lights or anything. We'll see what happens when we try and back it out. Look, yeah, so that was just, it's tune related. So I definitely have an exhaust leak, um, which is not cool. It's at that flex pipe right there. So I'm gonna have to take that to the exhaust shop or maybe try and get some patch or something like that. I don't know, I just kinda want it fixed. So it's just running extremely rich on the startup, which is what that issue was, just way too much fuel. It's still way too rich, but my laptop's inside. So I'm just gonna let it warm up as is. Darn, I don't know what to do about that exhaust leak now. It sounds really bad. I'm gonna have to gonna have to do some research on this and see what I can come up with. I'd like a cheap fix for it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna take it for a little bit of a spin. It's out, the exhaust leak's not, not gonna kill anything. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, all right, let's go for a little spin. I don't think I'm gonna be going out cruising tonight because I just, it just sounds raggedy. I'm gonna spend tonight, nice dinner, cleaning out the garage, uh, and editing this video. So, just gonna go for a spin right now. And, uh, man, that exhaust leak has done nothing but get worse, so. tonight <clears throat> that's raggedy <laughs> I really wanted to go out racing tonight, have some fun, whatnot. Um, in between the time that I pulled the car in and the time that I pulled the car out, I apparently did something. And now I'm, I'm barely pushing four PSI at 7,000 RPM. So I'm thinking that all my two-stepping and pop, pop, popping probably blew my turbo because it just doesn't make sense that an exhaust leak in the downpipe post O2 sensor would have anything to do with um, the spooling of the turbo. You know, you can just run, my Civic runs a straight dump, like right out the, out the hood, so. Could be like a vacuum leak, because it was kind of running funky, but I don't know. It was the two-step. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll do my best to upload tomorrow, but like the daily stuff, I'm just not gonna upload a video being like, oh, I don't have anything to do today. I mean, at least I put some bolts on and re realized that my car was trashed. So, um, 
yeah, I had something for you today. So hopefully tomorrow uh, I will have something for you in regards to fixing this car because it's going to be Sunday and uh, perfect day to cruise. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you think you know what it could be, let me know, as always, in the comments section. And uh, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. Really want to get the Civic fixed up. She's just sitting over there all depressed with the boost gauge and the reflection. Either way, she's sitting all over there depressed. All she needs to run is uh, an ECU. So just got to find a, an ECU that's chippable <laughs> and cheap. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, Cub Scouts.